Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from beautiful Hatfield, Wisconsin. So today is the second series in my camping and stamping videos. And yesterday I gave you some false information. Hatfield, where we're camping at, actually has a population of 50 in the winter and 5,000 in the summer. Holy cow, right? It's due to the beautiful recreation area around here. And we do this annual family camping trip every year in August. Today, we're celebrating Haley and Jared's uh, uh. wedding anniversary. I've got little Miss Val here and Molly, and we are having a blast. Now, I have a really cute card to share with you. And again, it uses scraps. You can use up all those scraps that has paper hoarders. We never want to get rid of, right? So I've got a fantastic layout for you using the Clever Cats stamp set in a different way. I hope you love it. And now we're going to step into my studio and through the magic of TV, we're going to do a little stamping. Bye-bye. All right, you guys, I'm going to be using the Clever Cats again. I love Halloween. We have a great card for using up little scraps. So basic white thick five and a half by eight and a half. I've already scored it at five and a quarter. So we're gonna fold that and burnish that edge good. And then I'm gonna just give you all the layers. We've got Bermuda Bay, and this is four by five and a quarter. A piece of basic black that's two and three quarters by four. And these little pieces, gorgeous grape, one and five eighths by two and a half. Granny apple green, one and three eighths by two. Basic white, one by two. What are we gonna do with these? Just wait, I'm excited to show you. Now I'm bringing in a brand new embossing folder here. And this is called Star Crossed. So half of it is stars, the other half are like a plaid design. We're gonna take our Bermuda Bay and we're going to emboss in this folder. So hang tight and look at how fun this is. I love it. Okay, we're gonna take some of the new black and white gingham ribbon. This is so sharp. I just love the way it pops on every project I've used it on. We're gonna take that and we're gonna put it right across the middle of our embossed layer. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape to tape that down. Then we're gonna take Look at, I've used a whole roll. We're gonna take a new roll because I bought all of them I could. We're only allowed to get so many of one item with a pre-order. And since, you know, the catalog just went live on the 3rd of August, the new mini catalog, I have not had time to get another order here. So I ordered the maximum amount. I think we were allowed three of these rolls and I got one in Hawaii. So yay me. Okay, we're gonna tie a little bow right here on the side. Just like this. There we go. I really like this ribbon, you guys. It um, ties nicely. It's easy to work with. It's very flexible. Oops, I got that one kind of weird looking. There we go. Can't have a weird looking end on our bow. Okay, isn't that just sharp? I just, I love it. Now we can add, well, let's see. We're gonna do some stamping on the inside of our card before we do anything, right? That's my golden rule. So I've got Bermuda Bay ink here. And I'm gonna use the sentiment that says, have a perfect Halloween. Goes along with my clever cats. And then I think we will stamp our pumpkin. So let's just set that aside. 
I'm gonna bring in my stays on ink again. I like using stays on when I have really solid images like this. I just find that I get a better solid image. Okay, that looks good. And then we're gonna do our witch's hat because, well, why wouldn't we? Ooh, it did good there. Let's close this up. Um, I'm gonna bring in pumpkin pie. Pulling out all the Halloween colors here. Here's our pumpkin two-step stamping body. Just like that. And I just want you to know that it is supposed to leave the white outline around the pumpkin body or whatever you want to call it. Um, just so you know, it's quirky and that's the way it's intended to be. Okay, we've got our inside looking good. What else can we put in there? Um, how about some bats? Why not? We've got bats. Let's let's do some fun little things in here. Yay! <laughs> Very cool. There's all kinds of really neat little images in this stamp set that I love for my Halloween cards. These are great too if you're gonna scrapbook Halloween. My gosh, when Haley was little, I used to used to do that. Always take lots of pictures. Ugh. We've still got some of her costumes. My favorite was SpongeBob SquarePants and also Mike Wazowski from Monsters Incorporated. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> I was the cool mom who made the costumes and they looked like they were store-bought. It was just so much fun for me. Now we're gonna take this black layer. Let's set that aside. We're gonna do our stamping. This layer is gonna be upright. I'm gonna grab the little broom and we're gonna get that inked up good. And I'm going to stamp that just like this. Ooh, that turned out great. And then we've got a tiny little spider here. And I'm going to stamp that little guy right down there. Isn't he cute? He's so cute. And then we're gonna do some bats. That's good. We're going to be good with that. Okay, so that was our purple layer. Now we're going to bring in our green layer and we're going to bring in this crazy cat right here. Now, I don't need to ink up the tail just yet because I'm going to put my cat right down here at the bottom of my granny apple green layer. Ooh, that turned out good. And now I'm going to ink up um, I gotta clean this first, hang on. We're gonna clean this stamp. I'm gonna wipe it off here a little bit. And then we're gonna ink up that tail. Okay, got that inked up. And I'm gonna come right over here on my cat. And now I've got the tail sticking up. I thought that was kind of brilliant, if I do say so myself. Very exciting. Okay, next, this little white layer. What are we gonna do with that? Well, let me show you. We are going to take the sentiment that says, hey, crazy cat. And I've got this in Bermuda Bay ink. I'm gonna stamp that right in the middle of my layer. And then we've got these funny little cat faces that are like coming out of the top of something. So let's do a little cat face right there. And how about another cat face upside down right there? Oh my gosh, look at how funny that is. What do you think? All right, I think we're ready for assembly. So we're gonna take our black layer and add some glue right here. Now, what I'm gonna look at here is the, the right side and the top and the bottom of my purple layer. And I'm going to get this margins to be the same on these three sides, okay? And if you cut this right, this should fit perfectly. And here comes my green layer. 
I love these colors for Halloween. I think they're just ideal. And here comes my white layer. And I want to make sure that that's lining up with my purple layer up here. Oops, looks really good. One little thing I see is that I didn't quite get this cat down to that edge. And I did that when I was making some other cards like this. Take your black marker and just color that little edge in so it's not sticking out there. And you have saved the day. Okay, now we're gonna put this on our card front. I'm going to use some of my dimensionals here. This is when the black ones come in nice and handy. Maybe one right there. Now we might have to move this bow down a little bit. We can adjust that in just a second, but I just want this to be right in the center of my card. And we can pull this back down here. There we go. Last but not least, we need some embellishments. And we're going to use the black stars this time. And I think I'll put one right here. Maybe another one here and another one there. How about one there? And maybe we'll do another one to cover up that little smudge right there. <laughs> I got black all over me. What do you guys think? Is that not super cute for Halloween? Yeah. Again, this is the Clever Cats. Um, the set is exclusive. The whole card is made with the stamp set. Now, isn't Halloween fun? I had a blast making this. Great way to use up your scraps. Now, remember, Holiday Mini Catalog is available to the public. If you don't have a copy of it, I would be happy to mail one to you. Just pop me an email with your address, and I will send it to you. Let me know, too, if you need the big annual catalog or if you just need the mini catalog along with the celebration brochure. I'm happy to send both of those. This is my current host code. I always appreciate your orders. You can find this on the right-hand column of my blog or at the bottom of every blog post. When you click right here, that's going to take you over to my blog to this particular card. I'm going to have all the dimensions written up there with still photos. It's an easier way to recreate this layout is to go to my blog and find the dimensions there. So let me know. Do you like my little Halloween card? Great use of scraps, right? Thanks so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Have a good one. Bye-bye.